Hey everyone, welcome to Microcomputer Applications. I, uh, my name is Lindsay Kullenberg and I am the instructor for this course. I thought I'd just take a minute and let you put a face with my name and kind of give you a rundown of the class and what we're doing this week. I'm gonna try to do these videos every week so we can I can kind of talk about what we're gonna do um, for the week. I thought that might be a little helpful. Um, anyway, so there's a lot, there's only a four and a half week uh, class, so there's a lot of information packed into each week. Um, so I highly recommend you tuning in daily. If we were to meet in person, we would be meeting every day, Monday through Friday. So kind of think of it that way um, and try to tune into your class daily when possible so you don't get behind. Um, but this week, we're starting out the week by doing our course agreement test. Everybody has to do that um, in order to move on with the class and our introductions. I love reading the introductions. I love getting to know each of you. So that kind of lets me get to know a little bit about everybody and everybody get to know everybody. I like to be, uh, for the class to be as interactive as possible. And then we're gonna kind of dive into our My Lab. So most work, um, not all work, but most work will be done through My Labs. We try to make it as easy as possible, so you should find all the links under uh, your course content and your Blackboard so you're not having to log in to something separate, um, but it is done in my lab. So this week you will, um, uh, after you do your course agreement test and your introduction, um, you will then dig into your my labs. You have your five orientation videos to do, and then we will be covering Microsoft Word this week. Um, you will also have your... Um, quiz when you um quizzes over each one those are actually done in blackboard so you will do your simulation practice and then your simulation exam and then you'll do your quiz in blackboard over chapters one word one word two one three you'll kind of have that pattern every week and then after you've done um each chapter um, you're, you will have a capstone. So you'll have like Word chapter one, two, three, then you have your capstone. And within each chapter, you have your simulations and a quiz. Your quizzes are all in Blackboard. Um, but that is all in Blackboard. You shouldn't have to have a, you don't have a course ID or um, a password or anything like that. Um, you should be able to go straight there. All the information to do that is in Blackboard. So please make note, um, if you go to the course information tab in Blackboard, all that information is there. So make sure you do that. Um, everything in your weekly modules are due that Sunday by midnight. But I have set suggested daily due dates. And I have just do this to try to keep you on track. So example for this week, um, your course agreement test and introduction by the suggested daily due date should have been done yesterday. And today you should do all five of your orientation videos. They shouldn't take a whole lot of time, but it's super important for you to do those before you start diving in um, into your Word. And then you should do all of your ch Word chapter one. So I have the chapters broken down into folders to make it more organized. Um, and then Word chapter two should be done tomorrow, June 3rd. And then Word chapter four done by I mean, I'm sorry, Word Chapter 3 done by June 4th. And then you're, I will never set a suggested due date for Saturday. You do have to take time for yourself, but please take that day if you need it. And then your capstone due by June 6th, which is this Sunday. Re note that everything, your hard due date is always that Sunday, unless I tell you otherwise. So if you don't meet each, if you don't meet each suggested daily due date, that's fine. Just make sure you have everything done um, by that Sunday at midnight. Um, but just note that the simulations take a while. They Some of them can take two plus hours, so don't wait until the last minute. So that's kind of what the suggested daily due dates are for to help you uh, to keep from procrastinating too much. Also, Remind. I've sent quite a bit of information about this already, but I use Remind in this class. It's an app that I just use to send reminders of due dates. Um, and so you don't have to download the app, but if you do, you can message me. Uh, and that's probably a quicker way to get a hold of me. You can use the messenger feature, uh, but if not, you can just send the um, text, uh, send the text, and that'll sign you up to get my reminders. All that information is in, is in Blackboard. It also should have gotten emailed to you as well. Um, the announcements. Make sure you always check your announcements. It's a great tool. I'll send quite a bit of information there in in the remind. At when I send my reminders, I can only use like 140 characters, so I can only put so much information in it. I will put the more detailed information in Blackboard under announcements. Um, 
but that's kind of a rundown of the class. Um, each week will kind of mimic this week. So we are working on Word this week. Next week we'll work on Excel, then PowerPoint, then Access. And each week, aside from like the introduction and the orientation videos, you obviously won't have that every week. But next week you'll have when when you start diving in, you'll dive into Word, uh, PowerPoint. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Excel, Excel chapters one, two, three. Then you'll have the capstone and and st such like that. So they kind of all um, we follow the same format. I want to keep it as um, simplistic as possible, but it is a lot of information. So just note that. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach me, uh, reach out to me. Also, make sure that you have Microsoft Office downloaded on your or on your computer. The internet version will not work for this class. You will actually have to, there you have free access to it, and I'll send that information out to you um, today. And so I'll send that out via announcement. It should also go to your email. But just the, the internet version that you can get through, through your email will not work. You actually need to have the program downloaded on your computer. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach, reach me and I will be talking with you soon.